Hi, today we're at the City of Lake Elsinore, the City Hall. If you've never seen the City Hall, it's right on Main Street. Come on down. It's kind of a cool building. They got trees, they got flags. We're at the City of Lake Elsinore. We're going to go in and interview some people today. Hello, this is Dan Baldwin, and our Elsinore.news newsmaker interview today is with uh, Susan Doman, the Lake Elsinore City Clerk. Susan, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. As you can see by uh, Susan's office, she's quite the traveler, been quite all over the place. Susan, uh, how long has it taken for you to get here, and uh, where did you come from? Uh, I started in the profession 15 years ago, and I came to Lake Elsinore a year and a half ago as the city clerk. I came from the city of Burbank, was the last place I lived and worked. Great. Now, I can see that a, a city clerk is, it's, makes one believe that it's just you, but you have a whole department. Can you tell us how big is your department and what does a city clerk's office do? Our department is three full-time employees. We have a deputy city clerk, Diana Jerome, and an office specialist, Luz Reyes. Um, our office is responsible for processing public records requests and claims, handling the elections and conducting the elections, working with the candidates. Mm -hmm. um, proponents for initiative measures and those things. We handle all of the meetings for the City Council, um, the meeting agenda packets, the minutes, the resolutions, the ordinances, processing all those documents and protecting those records. Great. Now I think earlier you said you're kind of a liaison between the public and the city. I mean the city they stay pretty busy but they conduct an awful lot of business spending 42 million dollars a year and a lot of that money comes from the citizens. So if the citizens have any questions about what the city's doing, what it ought to be doing, or how it can be doing it, your office is probably going to be their first stop? A lot of the times it is, and we help them get to the correct people to get them the right answers or um, to work with to, to work on whatever project it is that they need assistance with so they can start with us and we help guide them and direct them into the right areas. Mm -hmm. And for what are the appropriate ways for citizens to contact the city or city clerk? Do you take phone calls, email requests, do you have a web page? What is your preferred method of being contacted by the citizens? We take any method. They walk in and see us, we get phone calls, they can email us directly. Um, they're we have our web city's web page um, mm -hmm. with a, a ton of information on it and we try to keep that updated so that people have the information that they're looking for with our contact information is on the web page as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, three people, it doesn't sound like a whole lot of people to field all these questions and inquiries. Uh, do you get more and more inquiries every year? Is three people enough? Um, we probably could use more staff, but we do the best we can and, and the other departments field a lot of questions as well. So we, the entire city works as a team to try to help the residents. So. Great. Well, what we actually came in to talk to you today is one of the uh, things that the city clerk does, Measure A. Now, Measure A, we were putting the information out so people know, but at some point we have to actually vote on it. Now, originally it was going to be a stand-in-line vote, but now people can vote by mail. Can you let the people who are not registered and that may want to vote by mail, when is the last day that they can register to vote by mail and receive a ballot in the mail? The last day to register is April 25th. So tell us, what kind of uh, election are we having here? So we're having a polling place location as opposed to an all-mail ballot. Mm. Um, so the people who are registered to vote by mail ballot will still get their mail ballots. Anybody needing to register to vote because they're going to be out of town or cannot make it to a polling location on election day has the right to register by April 25th mm -hmm. um, and they can get their ballots through the mail as well. So if they don't register until the 25th they can still vote by mail? Yes. Great. And the vote by mail, it actually just has to be postmarked by the end of the day on May 2nd or they bring the ballot by here? How does that work? They can postmark, have it postmarked by that day, by May 2nd. Um, they can drop it off at any polling location and we will have a drop off box here in our office that they can drop it off at as well. As long as the county receives it within three days with the correct um, postmark, mm -hmm. then that vote will be counted. Great. Now, how many people do you expect to vote on Measure A? We are hoping the citizens turn out in great numbers to, to voice their opinions on it and, mm -hmm. and protect their city. And now, May 2nd isn't really the first day to vote, it's the last day to vote if people are voting by mail, uh, but they can show up and vote in person on May 2nd. When will we know the results of the election, on May 2nd, or do you have to wait till it's certified? 
We always have to wait till the election's certified, but we should have a good idea that night of, um, unless it's a really close vote, we should have a very good idea because the percentage of it changing or flip-flopping is low if we have good enough turnout or a good enough separation. Um, because we have to wait for the extra ballots to come in, mm -hmm. um, the county has promised me, since we're the only thing on the ballot, that they will get us an answer prior to the 30 days. Oh, okay, great. This is Dan Baldwin. Our newsmaker interview today is with Lake Elsinore City Clerk Susan Doman. Susan, is there anything else that you want the citizens to know about the office, clerk's office? I would like to thank you all for having me here and to know that we are always here to help however we can, even if it's not one of our main responsibilities. Great. Thanks a lot, Susan. Thank you.